Hi, and welcome to Cat Run Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today I have a haul for you guys, but uh, this is a little bit different than some of my normal hauls. I have a couple CGC books to show off. So these are some books that I've been collecting that I just haven't shown off yet. Some of them that I've been dying to get my hands on, and uh, I think you'll agree with me that these are some pretty solid books. So first off, picked this up. It's Uncanny X-Men 600, and this is the Adam Hughes variant for it. So it's a 9-6. And definitely, definitely a fan of that. Storm looks ferocious. Wow. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. I got a really great deal on it. I had to get it. So next, this is one of my favorite variant covers from last year. And that is Rose issue one. This is the David Finch variant for it. So it's a 9.8. Really amazing. I love it. This is a really solid read. If you're looking for a good image book to get into, I would definitely suggest this. Really similar to Reborn, if you were a fan of that at all, with a really solid, strong female lead. Really, really awesome cover there. Next, we all know that I love Amanda Connor. We all know I love Harley Quinn. So this is Harley Quinn issue 27. I believe it's a 1 in 25 variant cover. Um, really, really awesome. I fell in love with the bear. I mean, wow. Harley collecting honey, riding a big old bear. Why not? <laughs> I think it's a really fun cover if you're a fan at all of Amanda Connor's work or the current run of Harley Quinn definitely a good book to pick up next I love Teen Titans everyone knows that this is I think my fourth copy of this my first CGC copy and it's the new Teen Titans issue one. So it's a 9-0. Definitely something that I was really excited about to get slabbed. I do have a raw copy of this signed by George Perez and Marv Wolfman. But, I mean, this is amazing. Just really happy to get this in my collection. Something that's definitely going to go on the comic wall. Next, this is another book that Mark and I both really, really love and something that was banned in my local shops anyway. I'm not sure if it was readily available for everyone, but this is Harley Quinn, the annual issue one from 2014. So this is the Rub and Smell Spectacular. So there were two different copies of this that came out. One of them was, in fact, uh, shall we say, drug-scented, and the other one came scented like a Christmas tree. So, definitely something I thought was kind of cool, especially since none of the shops around here were even willing to order this. So, I thought it was really awesome. Everyone knows I love a solid Connor cover, and, uh, you know, really fun. 9-6. Definitely something I'm happy to have in the collection. And the last book that I'm going to be showing off in this video, and definitely, like the, like the Great Legend says, a big boy book, in my opinion, and that is Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane, issue 70. So if you don't know what this is, it is the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman in comics. Um, yeah, everyone knows that the Golden Age appearance of Catwoman is just crazy expensive. This is still an affordable book to pick up because not very many people, well, they're starting to get to know what it is, but not 
everyone knows what this is. So definitely happy to get a solid mid-grade of this. I got a hell of a deal on it. And I do love these Lois Lane covers. They're just so much fun. Honestly. It's this super pussycat, formerly Superman. So, Catwoman has turned Superman into a super cat. And Lois Lane is not having it. Definitely something I'm very proud to have in the collection, and it is definitely something that is going to fit in with my Batman or my Bat family collection. So definitely, definitely very happy to have that. So that's it for this video. Uh, give me a like if you like this video. Comment below and tell me some of the cool things that you've picked up here recently. Subscribe to my channel for more comic book content or check out any of the older videos I have up for offer here on Catwoman Figures. And until next time, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.